Okay, so let's get to talking about, so I know where we stand here. We're going to talk about how we can do five simple things to improve your cast. First of all, graphite rods develop a high line speed. That's because they're stiff. And, they, and when I bring this rod back, it stops. If this was a cane rod, it would wave back and forth. It would cause the line to oscillate. Now, I could bore you with, there are books that are that thick that tell you all the aerodynamics and why you're doing it. And I'll guarantee you, you'll go to sleep before you get through it. I'm going to take the practical things and show you how a cast develops and how you can get better at it. First of all, a spin cast is you take the weight of the lure and you toss it. It pulls the line out. We don't have any weight. What we've got to do is throw the line. The line has got to pull, it's got to pull the leader which carries the fly. We don't have any weight. So what we've got to do is transform this from the energy in our body. By the way, my daughter uses cameras to detect energy. And so if somebody's walking and they're not walking right, she can tell where the energy breaks. So I go down to her lab down in Salt Lake City, and I can watch the energy go out here. Every time that you bring this rod back, we can detect where the energy goes. And guess what? How many you think, how much energy do you think goes in a fly cast when you do it right? Try about 70%. So if you're doing it right, what we consider that you're only getting 70%. Now, if you do the cast like this, which is a spin cast, you're getting less than 20%. So it's very simple. What we want to do is get the energy from our body which goes down the rod, which is tapered, into the line. And we do that in two simple ways, two simple actions. We start the line moving, and then we move it forward. And that, like a golf swing, what's so hard about that? You put the ball down, you bring the thing back, you pause momentarily, you hit it. Simple. You do maybe five of them and it looks good, and then you do 5,500 of them that don't look so good. And the same thing can be about casting. So what I want to do is help start you off with the right thing. T tomorrow will be Saturday. And Saturday in San Francisco at Golden Gate Park, there's going to be about 30 Japanese all show up, no, none of them taller than I am. And they're going to be doing something that you guys have never done. They're going to be exercising. When you go to a basketball game or a hockey game, they're out throwing the puck around, shooting. What are they doing in basketball? Shooting layups. Here's what the Japanese, these guys have probably cast some of them for 50 years. And they're out there picking the rod up, pulling it down. They're picking it up, pulling it down. So I walk up to him, I know, and I said, hey, Phil, what are you doing? He says, well, I'm uh, getting in touch with the Zen of my cast. I said, Zen is not, it's, no, no, Zen is mastery. Even though I feel I'm good at mastery, I've got to get in touch with the rod. I said, well, how do you do that? Well, you bring it up and you bring it back down. You bring it up and you bring it back down. Well, first of all, Zen, you know, as I said, not even in Monopoly. My Japanese daughter-in-law says it's a mastery. It's learning how to master something. You know, if you can ever really master something, but try to get as good as you can. And I think it, a lot is like uh, meditation. And some of the best fly catchers I know meditate before they go into casting contests. You know, I, I think of anything, it's taking away a sense like sight and feeling. So much of everything is visual nowadays. We've, we've kind of lost what it's like to, to feel something. And in the, the old cane rods, which I grew up with, you know, unfortunately I'm 68 and I started when I was five, and you could feel it. In fact, some of the old casters, well known, actually think that the glass rods were better casting rods than the graphite. But, because you could feel things. And when you fish, you feel. You feel the line, you know when to do it. And now graphite is, it's almost like taking spin fishing, which is throwing something and melding it in and coming up with something, which is if you could get the line speed going and shoot it, it'll go. But can you fish it? Can you fish a rod as stiff as a board? By the way, those Japanese, they'll, they'll do this, and then all of a sudden, they'll start doing this. 
Shooting simple, shooting the line. Step two, shooting the line. Just very simple, no false cast, shooting the line. And, and then they'll go back, close their eyes, and there's where the zen comes in, and feel the cast, feel the cast. 